Uh, we're at Nature Rise Community Forest Garden, and because we have grown horseradish, um, and because at least half of us have had colds and flu, and we're all sort of well, ma mainly we're mended, but it is a bit we are we are recovering as well. Horseradish can be used um, to ward off flus, colds. It's antimicrobial. Um, it gets rid of mucus. Um, you can use it externally on wounds. So horseradish is an incredible, uh, incredible plant. And actually, once you've got one root, really, it, it just, you know, produces. And that's some horseradish there. And that was, it was dug up about a week or so ago. It's best to dig it up in the moment. We have got some here, but it is raining. So we're going to skip that bit. Mm -hmm. And we're going to use the bit I've dug up already. Um, so in order to make this um, concoction, which is called a fire cider, I'm using this recipe from this wonderful book, The Lost Book of Herbal Remedies. Um, Nicole and Claude, and, and, and it is a lovely, beautiful book, and it's got some really good photos. And it tells you all about the medicinal uses of plants. And this is a fire cider, and fire cider also has in it onion, ginger, lemon, garlic, cayenne pepper, black um black pepper turmeric and then you cover it in about a liter of cider vinegar um and so that's what we're going to do and then that's going to brew then uh for six weeks and you strain it and then you put it into bottles um and then what she says she does is she just takes it throughout the winter about an ounce at a time um yeah, and, and I mean, it's just something else to say about horseradish as well, is that, it, it, you know, it could deal with infections. It's a really potent root, a really potent root. So, somebody's going to go outside now and, and give that a scrub, or you can scrub it here with them. So, we're going to scrub it. If somebody else would like to start chopping the onion, and that's really fine chopped, uh, and somebody else can chop the ginger. Yeah? Cool. One cup of grated horseradish. So I've got a grater here. So you can grate and that catches it in there. And so what we need for this recipe is half a cup of grated horseradish, half a cup of grated ginger, quarter of a cup of minced onions quarter of a cup of minced garlic one chopped lemon and then one teaspoon of black pepper quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper and one teaspoon of turmeric um, and it does say honey but i forgot that bit mm -hmm. i can add that bit at home So basically, when you drink this, this will ward off just about anything, including, you know, friends, <laughs> relatives, <laughs> and neighbours. <laughs> yeah, I think that's enough. I think that's absolute. I think that's pretty good. I think we can, you know, half a cup. Yeah. It's not precise, is it? Yeah. It doesn't really matter. You can make it stronger, you can make exactly. it weaker. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Makes your eyes water. <laughs> well, it's in a spectrum and it's already doing the job wow. by just sniffing it. Mm. Look at this, huh? Mm. This is so goddamn good. You just know that's to be good. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? 
It's looking lovely already. So, the roots of this plant are antiseptic, digestive, diuretic, stimulant, laxative, rubus, ru, rufacient? I don't even, I've never even said that before in my life. Expectorant. I know what most of those things are. It is a very powerful stimulant herb that controls bacterial infections and that can be used internally and externally. Horseradish infusion is of great value in the treatment of resp respiratory problems, colds, flu and fevers. It is an expectorant antibacterial uh, and rids the body of excess mucus and fluids and treats the underlying infection. And it is a key ingredient in my fire cider, fire cider recipe. That's it. That's it. We need a lemon. We do. We do need a lemon. All of it. We do the whole the whole shebang. So I'm just going to get rid of these little bits. Um, is it a squeezing it in, or do we slice it and put it in? I think slice it and put it in. Well, and then the juice also can go in. Any juice you can collect can go in. I'm going to cut this up a little bit smaller over this way. One chopped lemon wind on. Yeah, if you chop. This is so good, and that's taken us about 15 minutes. Yeah, with that. Okay. How long will it last then, does it say? About a year. Really? Wow. Mm. Well, vinegars are ones that are preservative. Use within one year. But then again, you know, that's kind of... You'll know when it's gone off. Yeah. Well, that's right. So that's what she's saying. In six weeks, you would strain it, which yeah. kind of seems a bit sad. Um, which means that all the bits, you know, are ones, you know, and you just have the, the juice. Yeah. And then you put that in your bottles. Um, I, bet, I bet you could save the bits and use them bit by bit in Indian cooking. Yeah, yeah I bet you could actually. Yeah. people spend a bananas amount of money on like cow and all of these things when yeah. you could do something as yeah. simple as this. Mm -hmm.